Hector Zeroni from Not a real person. Man? Not a real person. The uh, the second best Hector next to the guy on my left. Uh, debatable. All right, so we have uh, TSS. And uh, this is not right. We have Shane and un uh, Upside Down Square, yes. actually. Yes. Upside uh, Down Square, who we saw on stream Tucson, earlier. Uh, Tucson's uh, local Mega Man. Probably the, one of, probably the best Mega Man in Arizona, I'd I would say. say. So. I'd say so. Uh, Sonic Mega. Sonic Mega would... He's uh, not in Arizona. Isn't he? Oh, is he? Okay, yeah, he's, he's right, Vegas. Right, right, right. He just comes or here. Kelly, or Kelly. He's come like once for Sandstorm. That's true. That's true. Uh, uh, so either way, so yeah, probably the best. Uh, I, I would say, I would say the best Arizona. He's really good at spacing out his, uh, as we saw his earlier, lemons. his weapons, his aerials, and his, uh, and his projectiles. Yeah. I don't know if that that game will work against SS. Uh, I mean, I've seen him play before. He's uh, definitely taken the game off SS before. He's never for beaten sure. him. Never beaten him. Uh, but he's uh, just a solid player who. Uh, He's just really good at zoning, uh, yeah. and that's just all he works with. His biggest issue is he gets impatient with killing, yep. and sometimes throws moves a little, uh, a little unsafe moves a little too soon. Yeah, I've noticed he's pretty uh, up tilt, up tilt heavy. He, he's not afraid to throw out the up tilt if he wants to kill, uh, which can definitely be unsafe. Um, I think it's good though. I think it's good. I think you shouldn't play scared. But yeah. all right, yep. And then he gets and there's a back there. Air. Yeah, and that that was him playing a little too aggressive. He he, yeah. he knew he was down percentage, and instead of just staying back and just. Just poking away. He tried. He tried playing a more aggressive game, which was going for the flame swords and stuff like that. So it's tough. I mean, SS plays very smart, and so if you're gonna play, you know, the safe rack up damage slowly game, it's gonna be even slower. Yeah. Uh, even go to time possibly. So, uh, you know, Shane brings it to the next level. So. Most definitely. You have to keep playing your game. Ooh. Though. Really un really unsafe dash attack there. Uh. Yeah. I think it's part of why Shane has so much success is that people uh, get really impatient. You know, even people like Upside Down Square, who is known for his uh, safer play, they uh, they quit it after a while. And uh, so I think I, I hope he I hope he goes back to it. I hope he uh, keeps it going here. Doesn't get too flustered. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, yeah, like like you said, Shane a really smart player uh, yeah. and is really good at capitalizing on people's mistakes. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Oh no, that should have been a short. Yeah. That should have been an uptail right there. That would have been. Uh, that would have sure been the better punish. Yeah, that would have been. It would be tied one stock piece at the very least. Yeah. So, and and that's what that's a little things. Uh, Abdullah doesn't play this game enough. Uh, it's his biggest issue. So okay. he doesn't know how to properly punish things, and that's one of the biggest reasons why he struggles to kill people. Yeah, and and I mean he he's doing well in terms of racking up percents, but getting that kill is not happening. Oh, you yeah, try to read yeah. a roll. I and I don't, yeah, at that point it looks like he's kind of hoping for it. You know, he's kind of like roll yeah. into me. I'm gonna throw out this up tilt. Works against lower level players, That's it. but yeah. Wow. Yeah, definitely. As you said, he had some tough times killing, uh, and it's tough. It's with Mega Man. I think you have to. I think you have to focus more on maybe getting them off stage and doing some back airs. Yeah, I can uh, definitely see like that. that. I think he did a lot of up throws, which I, which I questioned because I I, I would have preferred seeing him getting him off stage, getting Shane off stage. Um. Because the up throw can kill, but it's high. I mean, if it d if it's not gonna kill you, you should get them off stage. I think. I think you should. Get I mean, that that's not necessarily true. So, uh, especially versus someone like Ness, where it's very, it's very, you can't approach him as Mega Man off stage. Yeah. Uh, by doing an up throw, what you're doing as Mega Man, you're guaranteeing more damage with the up airs. Yeah. And I think it's a much safer decision. Uh, you're gonna be racking up much more damage, so it's gonna be doing more for you in the long run. Um, getting him off stage it should be fine. Uh, maybe at higher percentages, sure. But uh, yeah. I mean, at lower, definitely up throw. Shane put on a clinic in the beginning there. Uh, I noticed something that uh, Upside Down Square does. He does the up tilt, right? And he does it to intercept players that are coming down on him. He does it sometimes. It's and He's definitely uh, done it a couple more times this tournament, more yeah. than like I've ever really seen him. I, I've seen him do it a few times here. And I don't I don't know. I mean, I mean, he hasn't been punished for it, so I think it's fine. But it hasn't done much for him because it doesn't have that full... That full sure you can the full punch, you know. Yeah, I mean the sweet spot is at the is at the start of the yeah. hit. So, so uh, I mean, but at the very like, there's never anything wrong with damage. Yeah. Um, at the very least. I'd like to see him maybe try an up smash. I don't know if maybe it's too long. He it's definitely it it, the it up smash like doesn't reach in the situations where he's done that. You think you won't get it off? Nah, no, it's definitely not that high of a distance. Uh, the up smash is just barely above his head, where the sure you can almost go like two Mega Man lengths high. Uh -huh. Oh my God. Okay. He's been going for that combo. Wow. He got stuffed at Town and City from the the. Uh, the stage, but yeah, there does, he got uh, it. He didn't get there. the full hit of the up B, but does a jump. So there it is. Yeah, that was a cute combo, though. He's gonna do it back. That. He's gonna look for the metal. Oh no, goes for the thing. Oh, that's, that's good. Up that smash. was a good smart, smart up smash. Yeah. 
And so, I mean, still within reach, obviously, it'll be very Almost tough. definitely. Against, with Mega Man, I think it's one of those characters where you have to earn your kill. You have to get that percent. You can't get that jank kill uh, with Mega Man. He does have a few a few janky, especially versus like someone like uh, Ness. He does have the ability of getting something really janky. For, against Ness, um, yeah, for sure. He goes off and he just waits for the up properly and uh, does the metal blade downwards or the metal whatever. Huh? Hard knuckle. There we go. Thank you. I couldn't think of it for some reason. Obviously, I didn't play enough Mega Man as a kid. <laughs> and right there, like, I think, I think, I think Abdullah just needs to pick his punishes better. I think that would help him a lot in the long run uh, yeah, versus these matches. I th right now, it looks like you're just trying to get him to like, I think six. No, Oof. that's gonna be it. Yeah. I think, I mean, how much, he's at full rage, at what percent do you think the up tilt is going to kill? It's going to kill like, He's at like full rage, which is 150, probably like 70 to right? 80%. So I think that's what he's going for. Give me one second, I'll be right back. Yep, Shane takes it. It's just me.